Hi everyone, Jeff from the Juju UI engineering team here to fill you in on what has changed with the 2.0 release of the Juju GUI. We've been hard at work completely redesigning and re-implementing the look and feel of the GUI. Those familiar with it will immediately notice the cleaner and lighter appearance, which was intended to make your model information easier to find and read. But don't worry, all of the previous functionality is still there, uh, just in a much nicer package. Uh, here you're seeing the Juju GUI deployed into EC2, where we'll be spinning up a video transcoding model to show you the new features in the 2.0 release. We've spent a lot of time getting the Charm Store experience to mirror the one on jujucharms.com uh, from right within the GUI, both in speed and in appearance. Here we're showing you a list of the top charms, uh, but let's browse uh, for the transcode charm, which we're going to be using. So here you'll see the charm list. And here are the details for the charm in question. But of course, we don't want to build this bundle out ourselves. So we're gonna head back to the list of charms and look for the transcode bundle. So here we're showing you a visual representation of what the bundle is going to look like, what charms are included, and you can even click through to see the raw contents of the bundle. So now we have the bundle added to the canvas, uh, but the blue indicates that it has not yet been deployed to EC2. So here are all four of the charms added to the canvas, which were in that bundle. I'm going to switch to the machine view to show you what hardware this bundle had specified. So you can see here that it has created nine new machines. It is co-located NFS and Ganglia on machine zero, and then placed transcode on the remaining eight machines. So for the sake of this video, we probably don't need eight transcode instances. So let's scale that back before deploying to the model. There, three is probably enough. Now you see that it placed the units, which used to be assigned to machines, over here in the unplaced column. We don't want to position them anywhere, so let's just remove them. Now, switching back to the service view and committing to deploy to EC2, in this deployment view, you could see all of the changes that are going to be made to this model when we commit. Over here, we have the added services area, which shows you at a glance the services that have been added into your model. As the units for these services change from uncommitted to pending to deployed, this bar will automatically update to reflect those states. Once selecting transcode, we can see that we have three units pending. Clicking on the pending unit list, we can see all three of our units. And clicking on one here, we can see that it doesn't yet have a private or public IP address. We can go into the configuration view to change any of the configuration options. And then backing up, we can also go into the relations view to see its relations. And if we wanted, we can even expose it to the world by clicking the Expose button here. Now that everything is deployed, let's take another look at Transcode. And you can see that we no longer have any pending units, and our deployed units are now showing as started and have public and private IP addresses. So that's a real quick overview of the 2.0 version of the Juju GUI. We hope that you will enjoy the new UI and we will continue to release new features and updates. So be sure to let us know what you think and to report any issues to our GitHub link here. Thanks for watching.